ocean toxins. We mostly think that they affect sea lions, birds, and larger marine animals. What we might not think about is how they affect smaller organisms such as shellfish. Shellfish are a source of food for marine life and humans and are considered a delicacy in many cultures. Los Angeles area residents may harvest local shellfish without realizing they may be toxic. In addition to testing ocean water for bacteria from runoff and sewage discharges, the health department also tests for naturally occurring marine toxins that may be harmful to both humans and marine animals. Shellfish and marine water samples are collected to test for these natural toxins. There are certain populations or groups in Los Angeles County that like to eat the, the meat of the mussel. Uh, persons who might consume these do put themselves at risk because they, the poison can affect uh, human beings. The organisms are not uh, affected by heat, so cooking them would not render the poison safe. These are wild sea mussels that we just picked up off the rocks. They adhere to the rocks, uh, these little fibers here. But uh, what we're going to do at the health department is we're going to look for some poisons that uh, might be in the meat of these mussels uh, that could pose a risk to the health of the public. The state has a quarantine against the taking of these mussels uh, and we post signs up all along the beach that advise the public that from the period May through October that the uh, taking of these shellfish for human consumption is prohibited. That's because during those months, the, the organisms tend to uh, be present at higher levels than during the other months, but we still uh, come out and test all through the year because we're not sure what the factors are that might promote a rapid growth. What we'll do is we'll collect a sample, we'll send it up to the state health department overnight, and they'll detect the level of the presence of and the levels of the poison. And if it's at a high level, uh, that information will be transmitted back to the health department so that any health advisories uh, for the public can be disseminated. The health department tests for two naturally occurring toxins. The mussels are a very good sample because they tend to be a very efficient filter feeder and are a good marker for the level of the poison. What happens is you notice the waves coming in and these mussels feed by filtering the, the seawater and in the seawater are some very small single-celled algae, just like little plants, but very small. And these algae produce a toxin or poison that uh, poses a risk to human beings and certain sea life. The organisms are called uh, Sudanicha. Uh, that's a algae that produces a toxin called domoic acid. And the other organism is called Alexandrium. That's an algae, a small little sea plant that uh, produces a toxin called paralytic shellfish poisoning. We've noticed that there are certain uh, other sea life that have demonstrated some indication that they may, may be poisoned by the domoic acid. Uh, we see a lot of seabirds that are acting as if they may have been poisoned by some sort of neurotoxin and uh, scientists have examined their stomach contents and found high levels of domoic acid. They've also found these high levels in some of the sea lions that uh, wash up on shore and demonstrate some indication that they may be suffering from some sort of neurotoxin toxin or poison of their nervous system. To provide timely information for the public so they'll know what the risk may be from consumption of self-harvested shellfish, we sample and test for naturally occurring toxins year-round. <laughs>